Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Straight in with this video. Um, very, very thick skin keratin layer here just on the outside part of the ear canal. Uh, they've just folded over, which is it's what blocked the patient up. You can see this long kind of strip. Now this is sort of, it's not keratosis obturans, it's, it's nowhere near that at the moment, but it's that kind of what you'd see at the start of keratosis obturans. We start to get this sort of layer, this ribbon of skin that's almost wrapping and folding back on itself. Uh, it's looking healthy. There yeah, we normally go. like really compressed and then as soon as you start pulling it, it's like that ribbon then yeah. it just starts unraveling. <laughs> I had a gent in, I think his video was coming up, uh, it might be coming up while I'm away actually, but I, oh. I had a gent come in and his, he had a very, very thick skin plug in it. It had been in there that long, um, did actually start to remodel uh, the ear canal. Wow. Yeah, we had it was sort of dense in, in the ear canal, which oh. can happen. Just the pressure of the skin put mm -hmm. on the side of the canal wall there. Oh. And the, ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's, a, that's a long strip, look at that one. Oof. Um, both sides the same thing. Uh, <laughs> Jinx. So we, we've got, um, yeah, it started to remodel the skin in the, uh, the, sorry, the ear canal wall. So as it puts pressure on the bone underneath, the bone starts to break down and get reabsorbed. So it starts to change the shape of the ear canal. Oh. Yeah, similar thing to what happens with plaque and gum disease and that kind mm. of thing. Yeah, similar, similar kind of process. Sounds painful. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's, so it has to be, it's like a, almost like a, a very a gentle attrition then, if you like. It just kind of yeah. weighs it and breaks it down very slowly. Similar on this side as well. Look at this coming away. Oh. Chunky pieces of skin. Yeah, I've got white and like, white greys and yeah. Just, like, yeah, just all signs of skin. It is, it is. It's, you tend to find this very light colour. It's, it's, it can, oh, it can be all sorts of different colours, can't it? Yeah, a little bit sort of sludgy uh, remnants around the outside edge, which is also quite common in some of these skin issues. But here we are. That's what it looked like before, a little bit misty. That's what it looks like afterwards. Oh, oh a little bit of an um, inch and a half. Four centimetres. Oh, four centimetres, yeah. So much easier. Sort of. that, uh, we did actually get sent another ruler, which I haven't had a chance to use yet. Um, a lovely, lovely gem from Florida sent us a ruler as well. So I'm going to break that out over the next couple of days. I keep meaning to. It's in my bag, um, which I've been taking from clinic to clinic. I keep forgetting to take it out of my bag, so I'm going to have to put it on the, on the trolley so we've got it. <laughs> right, the US, sorry. I oh, no, ago. that's all right. We've, uh, what have we got here? Oh, very, almost very, very dry. Dry. Oh, we got a bit of a bit of a flinch. So this um, uh, this particular patient again just had a lot of itching inside the ear. N not so much issues with the hearing, uh, but you could see there was a little little small flinch. You could see at the start of that video. Then so. All we've really done um, there, as we've started to move this, I think the deeper part of this plug was is, is quite hard. Mm. Now, sometimes with these harder plugs, you can get some sharp edges to it, which doesn't really help us when we're when yeah. we're trying to remove, you know, the wax and it's you know it's starting to slide out of the ear. You know, some people will feel it coming out. So I think that's all that happened there. As we move this wax slightly. It may have just pressed up against the ear canal and caused the patient to sort of, you know, flinch a little bit. So we're going really careful here now. So I, I can see a little gap above this. So I'm popping in with the Rosen inserter here just to try and try and get behind this and turn that Rosen inserter to. Oh, you can see how deep it is. Look at all those hairs mm. that are that are firmly embedded in this. There was a little bit of skin I could just see at the top, which was attached as well, which is probably not helping since it's anchoring that in place. I think, this is a, I think this is a longer one as well, sorry. It yeah. took me a little bit longer than normal. That's a dense plug as well. Ah, yeah. it's, it's folding rather than uh, rather than pulling forward. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen is that I was, as I got my grip into that, I was hoping it was gonna pull the rest of it, but mm. it's just unfolding. So I'm swapping tools here. I think I try a bit of everything in this ear just to try and just to try and get this out. Again, I'm I'm constantly checking with the patient, making sure they're still okay. Uh, obviously, I was a bit worried that you know they flinched right at the start mm -hmm. as soon as I touched this wax. So you know any manual tool that we're going to use always puts a little bit of pressure on this wax. Yeah. Um, so I'm just you know trying to be as careful as I can. You can just see how long this may have actually been in here. There's a lot of hair that's uh, that's embedded. Now this is normally just from previous haircuts. Uh, some people to trim their ear hair. Yeah, uh, I mean that know, happens quite a lot, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, um, you know, 
you don't have to do anything with the hair inside the ear. You can leave that as it is. It's supposed to be there. Yeah, that comes up in the comments quite a lot about hairs. You know, do you ever trim the ear hairs? Uh, I don't, personally. I know uh, some consultants uh, do recommend that you just grab it with a pair of forceps and yank it out. Uh, I, I, I just think that's, if I can see, what is the point? Yeah. It's just, just, you know, it's not very pleasant having your ears waxed, I'd imagine, or the equivalent of it. No. Oh, crocodile forceps. Yeah, just trying to get a grip, and I'm hoping the whole thing is going to come forward with a bit of a wiggle. Oh, that's going. Oh, no, nearly. Nearly. I'm going slow because I don't want to push this in any further. <laughs> and it's only a delicate grip you've got there. Yeah, we, I haven't given it a good squeeze, so I yeah. don't want to shear through it but you can see it's just pulling away a little bit oh, that's a shame mm. i thought that was good i thought there was enough uh rigidity in the wax that it would have pulled that forwards then is it gonna go is it a strong enough grip well it might be it Ooh. might be oh, oh nearly oh. Uh, don't forget guys if you do enjoy these videos like heart follow share subscribe for us if you do have any problems with your ears you can check out the channel or the bio page link to our website book yourself an appointment come and see this myself or lovely mr taylor green whether that be wax hearing or tinnitus problems oh. i got how quick then before you got your wax there it was wasn't it <laughs> that came away nicely yeah. then that grip just getting rid of those looser bits of the front then you managed to get that out Looking, looking nice. nice and healthy there, yeah. Very looking good. good. Very good. Um, I didn't want to go back in to tidy up those little bits because obviously the the patient was in a uh, not discomfort because mm. they were absolutely fine as soon as the the wax came out. But I didn't yeah. want to really kind of interfere with anything else. So I, you know, we, she'd gone through enough already. <laughs> Bless her. It's quite a tough old one. This one as well, isn't it? It's yeah. not easy. You can see how dry it is. I mean. These dryer plugs are, are normally a lot more tricky to remove with mm. suction because you yeah. just don't get a grip. Yeah. So we're having to, you know, revert to manual tools. And irrigation wouldn't, I don't feel personally works as well with the dryer wax like this. I don't think it's as good. It might be yeah. okay to soften it a little bit for you to carry on with a bit of suction, but I would have gone curatage on this. Yeah. Yeah, I personally go irrigation with softer sludgy sweaty wetty wet wetter <laughs> sticky sort of wax. i can see we were going with that <laughs> one yeah that, that's sticky every, it's basically everywhere it's all over the ear all over the car walls yeah great for they've been seconds that lot oh, will be out yes yeah, it's five seconds and stuff five seconds with irrigation or 15 minutes with microsuction yeah yeah and then you won't get you won't get as clean a result with those kind of stickier waxes with with i don't think you do anyway with uh no. suction so i'm trying to reposition this oh you can see there's a little gap starting to appear here now so i'm kind of hoping this is not going any further i think i actually use i don't use them very often but i think i use a sink box hook in this one as well Oof. If I can remember. Wow, just blow the dust off it first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the sterilizer 48 hours before. <laughs> I don't tend to use them too often. I mean, when you, when you do use them, if you've got the right kind of wax, they're a really effective tool, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. This would be a, this would be a good one because you've got that hard consistency, so it's not going to pull through the wax. And we've got that little gap above it as well. Yeah. I, I, we're talking about a, a same box, so <clears> I don't even know if I do. I'm pretty sure I do use one. But sometimes I think it's, this is this is the nice thing when you do this kind of job where you voice over your, your own with other people's videos, is we can see things from each other's work that we think, oh yeah, do you know what I would have gone? And it's nice for reflective practice as well for us to go back over these videos and say, oh, do you know what they? Saint Bart's Hook would have worked quite well there if I didn't yeah. use it. And you know it, you, that does stick in your mind then for your next patient, doesn't yeah. it? So you're always learning. You're always learning something new. Yeah, I'm sticking with the suction here because as I'm as I'm just wiggling it you can see it starting to move out slightly but we've got to that that bend so this is where we're now having to try and bring it around it's not really it's kind of got itself stuck it's progressing isn't it yeah slowly slowly moving out Ooh. see we just bring it right over to the side here now 
There we go. Oh, you are that. You didn't have to didn't 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 use the same batter. But we could have if we had it again. So it would have been a good one to use the batter exam. I think it was a different patient I had in mind. I have used uh, one recently, so it's obviously not this patient. But yeah, we, I have used one recently. Good safe plugs there, though. In yeah, some quarter. Pretty good. So obviously, I've recommended this patient get their ears checked regularly because this has been there for a long time. I think that was the first visit, actually, first uh, first ever wax removal. Was it? Um, so you can see how dry it was, uh, but this is yours. Um, so I'm gonna very, this very too. different wax, this yeah. one, isn't it? Look how, look at, I mean, I would say that's probably a bit of skin there as well. Yeah, there it oh, is, yeah, look, look at that. Yeah. So a big old skin peel on this one, where the, 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 the sort of keratin skin is peeled away from the canal wall and just folded over, so it's touching the opposing canal wall. That's where the patient has a lot of difficulty, but it's coming away nicely. I think that came away as one big piece then. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it was hiding, look, it was hiding a piece of wax much further in, right down uh, in that anterior recess there. Uh, just on recess notes, guys, uh, do you have an anterior recess or posterior recess? Now, this is an anterior recess because the eardrum, the, sorry, the handle of the malleus is pointing, you can see, oh, it's reversed, isn't it? Oh, it's <laughs> but basically, it's pointed towards the, the, the front there, so this, this, is a, this is an anterior recess. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this is not wax. No. This, is a, this is a bunch of folded skin yeah. uh, and keratin down on the eardrum. Uh, yeah, your heart kind of sinks a little bit when you get hold of something like that. Sometimes it can be either a blessing or a curse because either you can hold on to it and it unravels and all peels out. Uh, which works brilliantly or it'll break little bits off and it just doesn't want to budge. You can see I'm holding the suction tube on it just to build that suction, get a bit of a better grip. I, oh, no, it's oh all you can see it started, it's started, there's a little bit left there. There's a tiny bit left there. Whether it'll come out, oh no, it didn't take <sighs> off. But you can see how, how much of it was just hiding down there. Now it becomes difficult because we've got to alter angles here to try and get in without touching the canal wall very much. It's not an easy one, and it doesn't want to pull. Oh. Now, I'm praying this comes away clean. Sometimes we drown the ear out with oil yeah. <laughs> in these cases. Yeah, if, we will. If these bits are... Uh... Well, I don't know. I think that's actually pulling out better than I thought it would. Yeah. Look at that mount this down there. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, hiding me in that recess. Look at that. Oh. It's almost like instant relief. With it the... is, yeah. Patient will really hear it a lot, lot better. There you go. You can just see a couple of little tiny bits of debris. I'm just think, just go and grab that little bit of skin. The tiny bits that are on the eardrum, not going to cause any issues. They will come out on their own. They'll migrate off quite happily and join the rest of the wax on the outer part of the ear canal. But yeah, looking so much oh. better now on that one. It's a big difference. <clears throat> Huge. So this is the other side. Now, bear in mind, we had skin on the first ear canal, so we're probably going to get skin on this one as well. Yeah, you sometimes find we, we we get some patients coming through occasionally where they're having issues with the hearing, but we take a look inside and it's it's not completely blocked, mm. but you'll have these little, like the other ear just now, you'll have little bits that are resting right up against the eardrum, yeah. which just kind of takes that flexibility away yeah. uh, and just kind of dampens your hearing slightly. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Out that start the cup. Sorry if you can hear some rumbling on the mic. I stop my stomach picking up. I'm starving already. I had breakfast as well. I'm good. I'm good. This one. But this is, we're just starting to peel this sticky stuff away. The wax is out. You know, we can see the skin. Wax is gone. Uh, this is more just a bit of, bit of tidying up here, really, around the outside edge. There we go. And there's the eardrum looking lovely and healthy. So this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like afterwards. Lovely. Uh, what are you doing on that one? Doing centimetres or inches? Yeah, I'll do centimetres. Two centimetres, nice and easy. I'm going to go three quarters of an inch on that one. Yeah. yeah. I'm nearest damn it anyway. Um, I almost had the name of that seesaw thing as well. Tita Tata? Is that what they call it? Oh, in don't the US? ask me. Don't ask me. Um, I might just made that up. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, so, uh, yes, thank you very much for watching our video today, guys. Don't forget, if you have any comments or questions, drop them into the comment section below. I'm away for two weeks now, so we probably won't do uh, answering your questions because I think it might be a bit too much to try and get that done on your own as well. Uh, but we shall uh, be back soon. Yeah. Yeah. 
There you go. And as always, together goes, soon. Back together <laughs> soon, that's what I meant to say. And as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And our, myself and the uh, Splendor. Eh? Splendor, oh my God. Splendor for us. That's the word. Play the green. <laughs> we'll see you again real soon. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.